There you go, folks. Good thing we're feeding 100 people tonight. You never know what this, whether you should call them crayfish, crawfish, crawdads. It's, it doesn't really matter. They eat really well. Same crawdad fishing. I don't think you can fit any more in the live wells. I've got one that fell down here behind the seat that's trying to eat me. He's mad. This guy's really mad. Yeah, Don, at this point, I don't think you can fit any more crawfish in the live well. I mean, they're, they are right to the top. To the top, huh? To the very top. There we go. Well, let's get over there and let's get over there and get them purging. Fantastic. Hey, we've had a great time today out on the lake catching crawfish. Right now we have literally thousands of crawfish. So it's time for your favorite segment, my favorite segment. It's all about cook what you catch. We're going to take in, show you how we take what we brought up from the lake, put them in salt water, clean them up, smash them with a hammer, gush them into goo, cook what you catch. It ought to be a really fun segment. I don't know that we're actually going to smash them with a hammer, but there'll be some crack a lacking after they're cooked. Nice. Put them in your hand in there, Mom. Put my hand in there? <laughs> I'm not that brave. Very cool. You look at that, that's the size of your thumb right there. So, you know, the part you're eating, you can suck out the head. Some of the claws are big enough to eat, but we're gonna show you how we clean them once they're cooked, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. We have uh, three big containers of crawfish, and uh, and these uh, these containers have all types of, of all of our crawfish that we've caught today in here. And what we've done is we've added some salt to this water, which which causes them to regurgitate any of the, of the food that they've been eating or whatever, and, and it kind of purifies them a little bit. We let them sit in this for about uh, 20 to 30 minutes, and then at that time we're gonna put them right in a big pot with some new potatoes and some corn on the cob and some uh, andouille sausage. In fact, this time we've got some special sa sausage called picante sausage from Criminelli uh, Italian sausage makers in, in Springville. So we've got some special sausage. We'll cook that all up and then we'll put the, spread the newspaper out on the uh, tables and we'll dump the crawfish out on the tables and people will start eating. Simple as that. Lachez les bons temps filets. Let the good times roll. It's a Cajun cookout. This is Rob Johnson, Billy Bob, who's our who's our crawdad chef. That looks like it's gonna be fine. In fact, you just want to rub it all over you. <laughs> Kids got crawdads, so many we can't even count them. And great food. What a fun family activity. The corn is spicy. <laughs> it's good though, really good. Get the original Louisiana crawfish, crab, and shrimp boil. Spices. Smell that. Yeah, that's what makes it. That's what makes it happen. Back in the bayou, boil everything in it. Yeah, cook everything in it. That's what. That one, what, what makes it a Cajun cookout. There's just too many of them. Every place around the lake, this lake is full of them. Yeah, this is about common. There's a lot of them in here. We've been getting crawdads for eight to ten years up here this way. It's great to meet friends and neighbors and eat good food. It's fun to be up here where it's cool and lovely at night and it's just a lot of fun. A lot of people haven't had this kind of food before so it's fun to introduce them to crawfish and to realize that we have something like this right here in our lake. We first state crawfish in um, Texas and Louisiana and who knew that they were here? Saturday night. Woo okay, now here, Jill. There we go. Throw that bad boy in. Yeah. 
Get a good pair of polarized sunglasses. It's going to do two things for you. Helps you see the fish in the water. Two, protects your eyes from a long day on the water because the, the hardest part is it's the reflection of the UV rays coming off the water onto your face all day and your eyes don't get as tired. So there's another tip. Um, go see our friends at Sunglasses Only up in Salt Lake. Tell them Hooked on Utah sent you. They'll give you a good discount on a pair of uh, polarized or any kind of sunglass you want. But if you're going up, get some polarized glasses if you're going to go fishing. I'm Alton Jones, 2008 Bassmaster Classic World Champion. And for six months out of the year, this is my office. On tour, I face the toughest competition in the world, and there's so much to worry about, but my boat's not one of them. My Skeeter gives me peace of mind. It's durable and reliable. Two of the most important things to me as a professional bass fisherman. My Skeeter always gets me where I need to go, and it gets me there fast. It gives me the confidence to win. Get the confidence you deserve. Skeeter Boats, engineered like no other. Plastic liners are for trash cans and baby diapers. Come over to Rhino Linings of Utah County and we'll put an original lifetime warranted Rhino Linings in your vehicle. We have two kinds of tough, Rhino Tough Grip and Rhino Hardline. With our lifetime warranty, we can protect your boat, truck, or trailer. Give us a call today and mention you saw us on Hooked on Utah. Receive $100 off your next Rhino liner.